So here we have the long-awaited kill team focus for orcs. Uh, for some, kill team will be a game of tactics and strategy, a battle of wits where every decision is deliberate and exacting. Orcs and orc players tend to have a different approach, preferring instead to blitz through the enemy in a mass of dacker choppers, muscle, spreading anarchy and leaving the enemy kill teams in the dust. In today's kill team focus, we're looking at the unique charms of orcs, orcs kill team, as well as checking out the units and tactics you'll be able to use. Why play orcs? Lads, 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 lads. Orcs kill teams are versatile, versatile, with five different units to draw their team members from, from the umble orc boy to the decker spraying looters. Sweet. Custom gubbins. Like converting, you'll love orcs from chopping and changing heads and weapons between uh, kits to looting guns and gear from the rest of your bits box. There is really no limit. Getting chopping. These are close combat warband, the Orcs are a close combat warband, through and through. If you want to win kill team in brutal melee, then they are the kill team for you. The units, Orc boys. Strong, tough, numerous boys with a backbone of many kill teams, excelling in close combat warfare. Commando. The sneakiest gits around commandos are dangerous close combat fighters who are nearly impossible to hit in cover. Use them to hunt shooty foes. Burner boy. Who needs aim when you've got a burner? These flexible orc troops are great in close confines of kill team, whether in melee or torturing enemies in cover. Looters. Orcs with a knack for re-appropriating re enemy war materials. Looters provide long-ranged fire support for their kill teams in their, with their dreaded death guns. Gretchen. Let's face it, Gretchen are not exactly the most heroic fighters. They are, however, very easy to hide in cover. Cost next to no points and can be can be your leader if you're bold enough to recreate the glory days of the Gretchen Revolutionary Committee. Wowzer. Absolutely wowzer. That's hilarious. And the only really reason you would probably do that is to hide him. Because he's so small. The tactics. And here we have a burner boy team. <clears throat> Daka daka daka. Right, well that's kind of obvious. <clears throat> Use this tactic after a model from your kill team shoots in a fight shooting phase. You can immediately shoot an additional time with that model. One command point. That's good for obviously looters, I'm guessing. Grot shield. Picture the scene you've dashed out of cover to blast a Yumi to smithereens and suddenly you're in the gun sights of other humans. By grabbing the nearest grot, you'll be able to fight another day. Orc tactic. Use this tactic at the start of your shooting phase. Pick a model from your kill team that is within two inches of a Gretchen model. Till the end of that phase, the Gretchen, while the Gretchen is on that battlefield, any attacks that which target the chosen model are resolved against the Gretchen model instead. Two command points, so that's pretty sweet. Getting started and very fluffy. Getting started. At launch, players um, will be look, look, uh, looking to make the most of their orcs, will want to make sure they pick up Krog Skull's Boys expansion with Burner Boys or Looters, depending on how you build them. Um, let's have a look. So obviously you get the server hall, which I think people have done as um, like a war track um, or a grot tank, which would be sweet as um, as a little terrain kit. And obviously you get the little the little uh, bits and bobs. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, so there's a little mission you get, I'm guessing. The Mega Pyre. You get at least two, I'm guessing. Get some more cards, server haulers, some character cards, that's what it looks like. Of course, there's no reason not to start right away. A set of commandos is well worth it for a commando boss knob alone. A stealthier bruiser who's both thematically fight fitting and deadly on the tabletop. So I've already got um, a converted um, commando, which would be cool. Get yours today online and stay tuned for tomorrow's Kill Team Focus where we're checking out the brave Astro troopers of the Astro Militarum. So I'm also looking forward to that one. But I think the best things, in my opinion, so this is now, we've gone over it. I think the best things are probably the looters. Obviously we don't know what the weapons profile will be like in this. The fact that you can have Gretchen as your leader so you can hide him away, I guess. 
or um, use them as shields, which is kind of cool. Um, Burner Boy is Commander and an Orc Boy. Because I feel like I'm probably more likely, um, if you can have Shooter Boys, maybe have Shooter Boys. Um, but it doesn't say you can have like a, um, a big shooter or a rocket launcher or anything like that, but I think you probably could. And again, if he's having a big shooter or something like that, standing back, you'd probably have him as a commander. Or just say he's a commander. That'd be cool. Um, so I think, really, um, it'd be very, very interesting to play Orcs, and I think it's kind of cool that you can that you can use the Gretchen in there. And looters, because you wouldn't be able to lo use looters or burners, in fact, in the Shadow Wars. So that'd be really, really, really interesting. So, um, so I kind of called it when I said looters and burner boys. We knew burner boys. I said maybe commanders, I think, but I definitely said Gretchen as a maybe. But then I retracted that statement. So I did pretty well in my guess. Hopefully, you can have at least one knob from one team as a leader, which I'm guessing it'll be a similar thing. With sergeants from the other squads. I think we're going on a bit now. I think we've seen it. I think orcs could be a strong one. Depending on how many models you can have. But they could also be really stinky because of that. And I'm actually interested to see the Astro Militarum. So the Astro Militarum. I'm going to guess you probably are able to get. The Tempesta Signs. Infantry. Veterans. And I'm going to go with an Ogryn. On account of the fact that the Aberrants. Were able to be used for the Gene Stealer Cult. So that's basically it. Um, let me know what you think down below and uh, hopefully see you tomorrow.